Logging into Shortel, take your favorite browser, point it to the IP address of the headquarters server slash shortware director, and you'll get to a login screen. The login screen typically uh, has the Shortel version and build number in the lower portion of the screen. Click login, and you will arrive at a um, Screen that Shortel likes to call Quick Look. It's a top-down view of what's going on in the system right now. Uh, we'll cover this in detail in a later blog. At the moment, we're just interested in reviewing what the administrative portal looks like and what we can access through this portal. Shortel has about uh, four key areas. The system administration area. All navigation is on the left side of the screen. So as we, for example, click on users, uh, individual users, the uh, data will be on the right side of the screen. The left side of the screen will be basically all of your navigation links. So adding users, trunks, phones, platform hardware, servers, uh, setting up your system parameters and preferences. We'll drill down on these areas later. At the moment, I just want to give you a feel for what the portal looks like. There's a maintenance section uh, in which you can look at statistics and, and real-time information about system connectivity, uh, what, what is going on in the system in real-time. Check your event logs. Um, look at uh, histories, uh, um, and you have reporting. This is where you will go to, to dig into your reports, uh, call accounting reports. Shortel does an excellent job of keeping documentation available and online and updated. So every time you do a system upgrade, your documentation is upgraded. So the system administration shortel through a single portal I would point out that it is a single pane of glass and you can see uh, your voicemail system as well as the phone system as you'll see when we look at Cisco it's not a single pane of glass um, uh, voicemail is actually a separate system separate server so it's administered through a separate portal so Let's go ahead and take a look at what it takes to log into the Cisco system. If you go to the IP address of the Cisco uh, publisher, and actually it's slash CC admin, you will get to the administration uh, portal for Cisco, much the way you do uh, for Shortel. And uh, if you'll go ahead and log in, notice here that there's a navigation uh, drop down box here that enables you to log into different portals on this system, including the serviceability portal, the operating system administration, uh, your backups and recovery, and your unified reporting. So it's uh, a bit more. Uh, complex than the Shortel portal. Uh, is there a reason for that? Well, we'll take a look at that as we drill down. At the moment, let's uh, log in here. The CCUM administration portal uh, consists of six or seven, eight, uh, actually, areas of administration. So uh, as you'll see across the top of the portal, we have system where you will uh, make configuration definitions about uh, your server, your clusters, your device pools, um, typically infrastructure uh, setup is accomplished here. Your call routing 
This is where you'll be setting up um, your route lists and hunt groups, uh, your classic control uh, for your for your partitions and your calling search spaces, um, translation patterns, uh, meet me dial numbers, uh, mobility configuration. This is all done in this area called call routing. Media resources where we configure music on hold, for example, transcoding resources, things of that ilk. Advanced feature functionality. Basically, when we are setting up telephony integration with your other resources, most uh, notably the voice uh, mail system, you'll do that here. Devices. Devices are in, in uh, Cisco are your gateways in your phones uh, and gatekeepers. Uh, these are the particular areas. Um, of configuration and you'll do that through devices and again we'll take a look at all of this in greater detail your application wizards user management this is where we go for setting up individual users um, setting up user groups bulk administration for facilities like um, let's say group uh, registration for phones things like that. Of course, help. There's an online help uh, system. So uh, the portal, significantly different. Shortel, one pane of glass, a um, navigation pane on the left, workspace on the right. Cisco, uh, significantly more detailed in terms of the types of configuration options that you have. So again, in a subsequent video, we'll take a look at both of these in greater detail. We'll add users, for example, under both uh, systems. We will um, add phones under both systems, uh, configure user policies, um, try to uh, demonstrate some of the cultural difference between the system and perhaps explain why there are so many more configuration options here. So I hope you have found that uh, informative and I thank you for viewing.